Uh, hello and welcome to the Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Uh, today is July 6th and this is the EU US edition. Uh, today we have myself and Bruno Vrachten. Uh, if Mark is uh, does end up joining us, we'll invite him in later when he comes, but uh, for now it's just the two of us. So uh, for the agenda, so uh, I know that we had the midterm presentations for Google Summer of Code just a short while ago. Hi Mark, welcome. We we're just talking about you. All, all good things, I promise. Um, and just going over the agenda. So uh, yeah, midterm presentations just happened earlier today. So uh, there'll be lots more about that in the future. Uh, there uh, have been some open poll requests of interest that we can discuss. Uh, I added a few more this morning uh, based on what I've been working on for the Java 7 transition. Uh, and just a couple notes about uh, housekeeping. So. Um, is there anything else that we should be putting on the agenda or anything that anyone wanted to add? If not, no worries. Okay. Cool. Uh, so uh, starting off, so Google, Google Summer of Code is well underway uh, and we've actually reached the midpoint of Google Summer of Code. Uh, as a result today, uh, we hosted the, mid, the we, uh, we had the midterm presentations for Google Summer of Code. Uh, it wrapped up roughly uh, around 12 o'clock earlier today. So um, very, very fresh, which is great. Uh, and the mentors were asked to evaluate their, their work on GSOC for the contributors. Uh, some of the questions that they asked themselves and were a part of the evaluation are listed here, uh, really just to get people to reflect on uh, their uh, actions, their, their connections, and, and really like how can you improve from here for next year, if you want to continue to be a mentor, um, it's a lot of them are very straightforward questions. How do you communicate? How often? When? How did you help? How are you helping them track this? So, um, just really good insight to keep in mind for Google Summer of Code now and going forward. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, and Mark, maybe uh, you and or Bruno could confirm the uh, web the presentations. Uh, the presentation recording it will be available later and available for everyone to give a watch. Yes. Correct. That's right. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, anything that uh, you wanted to share about the midterm presentations, Bruno or Mark? Mark, go ahead if you have something. No. Okay. Ashutosh did a great job demonstrating talking oh. about Docker Quick Start. Uh, congratulations to Bruno as the mentor, and I felt really good about the GitLab plugin modernization presentation from Harsh, Harsh Pratap Singh. So the two that, actually, I guess the third is the Jenkins.io rebuild. That one is, for me, the most scary because it's such yeah. a huge project, but it's making good progress. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, I was actually I was checking out the prototype site earlier that Vandi had provided, and it looks really nice and clean. And I like the uh, presentation of the page and how everything's um, called out a little bit more. I, like specifically, I was looking at the installation docs and um, just really enjoying the fact that like the code blocks are color coded now so that they they stand out. The notes are a lot more um, kind of apparent instead of. Uh, hoping that they're noticed and like the text is always a little grayed out on the notes which i thought was interesting and the fact that they're just regular text here but um clearly signified is is i think a lot better and visually in terms of the documentation so yeah so uh google summer of code's been making great progress we're going to continue to do so we've got um how many more weeks is it in total for google summer of code i think we still have six weeks to go i think so cool. Awesome. So that yeah, so that brings us right towards the middle and slash end of August. Mm -hmm. So perfect, great. Lots of lots of stuff to look forward to, and uh, yeah, even if that uh, alternative build, alternate build for Jenkins.io is a larger project, um, will be available to keep working on it after the fact too. Just because Google's remote code doesn't uh, continue forever doesn't mean that doesn't that the work stops. So. Uh, up next, so uh, some open pull requests of interest. Uh, there was one submitted recently by uh, Tanu Sharma updating the administrating Jenkins on Kubernetes docs. Uh, I've gone through from a documentation standpoint and uh, really more than anything else, this is just requires review from uh, 
people that are experts on Kubernetes um, or anyone that's more familiar with Kubernetes and its ins and outs than I would be. Um, so uh, I think we've asked uh, Damien and a couple other folks in the pull request if they'd be available to take a look at it and uh, provide their feedback. Uh, if there's anyone else that uh, feels comfortable or um, so inclined to review the Jenkins and Kubernetes uh, pull request, there's still plenty of room for feedback and suggestions here. Uh, and we'll be working with Tanush to make sure that this is uh, organized and put together in a way that we can actually merge it and get it published on the page, on the site. Uh, thank you to Tanush for this. And uh, this is a continued effort that he's been working on for a little bit now. Um, so just, again, really appreciate the work and the consistency that Tanush has been putting in on that. Uh, makes a lot of, uh, it makes a lot me feel a lot better and uh, a lot happier just having everyone working. Uh, so um, there was one that um, Jeffrey Chen had submitted a while back for the best practices page. Um, this just needs some more text and context to be filled in on it. Um, it's something that has been, uh, or that was being migrated from the Jenkins wiki. So uh, this does need a fresh set of eyes, some more review uh, and potentially uh, some help in finding any gaps and closing those gaps in function form uh, function or uh, any sort of updates that we've had between when it was originally written now. So, yeah, that's one where I think I need to enlist help from Darren Pope as mm -hmm. one as a possible reviewer just to say, hey, what should we say here, and what other practices should we add? The the concept of a of best practices or preferred practices is inevitably loaded with opinion, right? And so what you're seeing here is Mark Waite's opinion based on things, ideas extracted from the, the wiki page that was created long ago. And best practices are definitely something that, that users come to expect and, and get a lot of use out of. And, I mean, in my, at least my own experiences, it's been, it's always been very helpful. So having something there, even if it is opinions and suggestions, you know, uh, it'll get someone started and that's the best thing that they can do for someone. Mm -hmm. uh, there was another uh, pull request submitted on the scripting and security. This was actually one that was submitted uh, a couple of years ago, um, November 21, but uh, Meg's created a lot of great content here and has gotten a lot of feedback and review from uh, folks like Daniel Beck, who are uh, the the security go to person uh, for Jenkins. Ervet. Like a lot of people have gone through and worked on this. Uh, this just needs to be updated and uh, put together in with the comments, suggestions, everything applied. Um, and some more review, of course, by the security team. There's most likely been changes since 2021 when this was first submitted. So uh, once we have that, um, this, this is something that uh, myself or Mark could work on because there is all this already existing context and content. Um, so this is something that is going to be now on my radar going forward, and I'll be uh, looking at this to review and, and edit. Um, is there anything else on the script security uh, page that we should be aware of, Mark, or anything that I should keep in mind uh, as working on this? You described it well. It's it's a long ago attempt by Meg to create some something helpful for users, and it's been through multiple reviews and probably yet needs more. Meg doesn't have time or capacity to, to do further work on it, and okay. so it's up to somebody else. It, Kevin, you could pick it up. I could pick it up, et cetera. In any yeah. case, I think our work on Java 17 is higher value than that for right now. Yes, of course. Um, and speaking of, so uh, as part of the Java 17 transition, uh, I'm going through the installation guides and updating the, the documentation as I can. Um, I did update and uh, put, we merged the Linux installation documentation. So this now has uh, a note indicating the change with the release of Debian 12. Uh, that OpenJDK 17 is now the option, the version being delivered, uh, and all of the corresponding paid parts of the Linux installation now include uh, JDK 17. So 
um, I've gone through and tested this one in uh, on Debian, and I was able to also get review from uh, Mark and a couple others uh, uh, confirming that everything was uh, working and correct. So uh, we've got that. And then uh, I just also submitted an update for the Docker installation documentation. Um, there was no uh, hard and fast mention of Java 17, but I went through and updated the formatting, um, some of the syntax and um, some of the other, I didn't change the content necessarily, just cleaned it up so that uh, it's, yeah, more in line with the guideline, the documentation guidelines that we have set in the style guide itself. Uh, and I'm still going through and uh, I've got other installation documentation, um, the Java upgrade requirements, et cetera, uh, that I'm working on getting the transition uh, finalized there and completed. Okay. Uh, maybe a few months from now after GSOC, we'll have to make another PR regarding uh, the update, uh, you know, the Docker installation guide. We may have a way to install it um, with less instructions, we'll see. Thanks to the Docker Quick Start, Docker Quick Start, and everything. Maybe that's my hope. I don't know. It's just out of the blue. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, for sure. And I was uh, when I was reading through this earlier, um, I noticed that there was it was stated that there would not be a need for the DIND anymore, um, and so that would definitely change the instructions here. So yeah, yeah. if it does come down to that, we can absolutely for Re most uh, of the existing everything. tutorials. I can't promise that for each and every tutorial existing in the Jenkins IO, we will be able to do without Docker in Docker, but for the mm -hmm. first five, I can promise this is the case. For the other ones, we'll see. Oh, cool. that works. No worries at all. Um, and then, so the last note that I had here on the agenda for today is that Mark will be out of office uh, for the next two weeks. So the uh, Docs Office Hours Asia uh, either will need to be hosted by another person if there is a volunteer, or uh, if not, skipping those meetings. So um, just something to put on your calendar. Keep keep be aware of this. Will uh, I'll be sure to bring this up again next week during the, the EU US office hours. So. Um, yeah, and there's, we, we discussed yeah. it during Asia office hours last week and mm -hmm. came to the conclusion that we just accept that the meeting won't happen. Okay. So I'll, I, I have the action item to delete them from the calendar if I haven't already done it. Okay. Great. Uh, is there any, so that was what I had on the agenda for today. Is there anything else that we um, want to talk about or bring up or discuss here in the office hours today? Um, just maybe about the June newsletter. Uh, the mm -hmm. PR has been created. It's not ready yet, mostly because I did not do correctly my homework. Uh, but I should read that tomorrow, and we hope to get it merged on next Monday at worst. And I'm actively Thanks. reviewing and going through it right now as well Thanks to make so. sure to get everything in aligned so that. Um, any additional updates or changes that need to happen are, are uh, not so time consuming. Yeah, and thanks a lot to all the contributors. Yeah, absolutely. Great, okay. Uh, well, that takes care of everything I had for today. Uh, what we'll, we'll uh, end the recording here and the record, it'll be available 24 to 48 hours. Uh, thank you as always for joining and have a great rest of your day.